Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply uniform cost search algorithm to find an optimal path. This is the solved example number two. I have already discussed what is uniform cost search algorithm and what are the different steps in uniform cost search algorithm. Also, I have solved a numerical example using uniform cost search algorithm. Link for those videos is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a graph with a multiple number of nodes. Here, C is the root node. Z and G are the goal nodes in this case. In uniform cost search algorithm, uh, we will set the cost is equal to zero initially and open list is set to the root node here. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to remove this uh, uh, node from the open list and then we need to explore the root node here. So, I will remove C from the open list and then I will find the possible paths here. There are multiple paths are there. Uh, there is uh, one path from C to B, another path is from C to D. A C to T, C to O, C to E and C to E here. For each of them, uh, there will be some different uh, cost here. So, I will add all those uh, possible paths into open list here. The meaning of B2 is uh, to reach uh, B from C, the cost is equal to 2 here. Similarly, other uh, paths were added into open list here. Now, once you add all these uh, possible paths, uh, we need to sort these uh, paths uh, according to the cost here. Once I sort it, I will be getting uh, B1 as the first place, B2 as the second place and so on. Now, the meaning of this one is uh, we have explored the root node. Now, we need to select the first uh, uh, node from this uh, open list and then we need to explore it. So, the first node from this open list is a T. I will select a T. The meaning is I will remove T from open list and then I will add all possible uh, paths from T into this open list. Uh, we don't have anything from T here, so we don't add anything but we have removed a T from the open list here. Now, we haven't reached the goal node, so we need to look for the other possibilities. The next possibility is uh, B2, that is uh, uh, B is the next node. Uh, we will remove it from the open list and then we will explore the B here. There are three possible paths are there, A, R, S. Uh, to reach this particular A, uh, we need the total cost is equal to 3. To reach this particular R, we have the total cost is equal to 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6 and so on. We will add all those uh, paths into open list uh, in the ascending order here. Now, once it is done, uh, we haven't reached this uh, goal node yet. So, we will select the first uh, node from this open list again, that is E2. And then uh, we will remove it from the open list and then we will explore uh, E here. Once I explore E, uh, the cost to reach this uh, G is equal to 2 plus 5, that is 7, that is added into open list here. Now, uh, again, we haven't reached this uh, goal node, so we will take the first uh, element from the open list, that is O3. Once I uh, remove it, uh, I will reach this particular O, and then we will explore O. Once I explore O, I will be getting uh, two paths here, that is I and N. To reach I, the cost is equal to 4. To reach N, the cost is equal to 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 here. Again, I will add all those uh, possibilities into open list here. Now, uh, we will take the first uh, uh, element from the open list again, that is A3. Uh, once I select this A, uh, I don't have anything uh, from this particular A. So, that's the reason I have to look for the next one, that is I4. So, I will select this I. Once I select I, I will explore uh, this uh, I here. Uh, it has only one possibility, that is Z. Uh, 3 plus 1 plus 2, that is equal to 6, that is added into this uh, open list. Now, we have added Z into open list, but we haven't uh, reached this Z here. So, that's the reason uh, uh, we didn't got the uh, complete path yet. We have reached up to I here till now. So, again, we will uh, select the next one that is uh, P5. Once I select uh, P5, uh, there are multiple number of paths are there. Again, I will add all those uh, paths that is L, F and D here. And then I will select the next one that is uh, S5. Again, we don't have anything from this S. Next, I will select N here. Again, uh, we don't have anything here. And then I will select R here. Again, from this R also, we don't have anything. Next is Z6 here. Now, once I select this particular Z, Z is removed from the open list. And this uh, uh, Z is nothing but the goal node. The meaning is we have reached the goal node in this case. Now, what is the total cost in this case? The total cost is equal to 6 here because Z6 means to reach this particular Z, the total cost is equal to Z6 uh, here. Uh, this is how actually we can uh, get the, uh, can say that uh, the path as well as the cost to reach the goal, uh, goal node in this case. The path is C, 
O I Z and the cost is 3 plus 1 plus 2 that is 6 which is already written in this uh, open list here you can notice in this case uh, open list contains Z6 the meaning is to reach Z with the total cost is equivalent to 6 in this case so this is how uh, uh, we can apply the uniform cost search algorithm uh, for the given graph uh, to find the optimal cost from root node to the goal node in this case I hope the concept of uh, uniform cost search algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching